Fellow Helldivers, the finest warriors of the Super Earth, brave fighters for honor, democracy and liberty, I am proud to announce that the battle against the tyranny of Sony, against the corporate stupidity, has been won by our amazing gamer community. Yes, the victory is ours and we are all united, together! After three long and eventful days of unexpected heavy drama, the Helldivers 2 mess has finally been resolved. Sony caved in and backtracked on their decision. A couple of hours ago, they released this very statement. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, yeah right, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated on future plans. This is an amazing news, as it proves that in the chain of supply and demand, by the end of the day, it is customer who dictates the rules. The decision was made quite quickly, as yesterday the publisher's reaction had not been particularly customer-oriented. They basically doubled down by removing the game from the Steam shop for people living in regions where PS Network is not available. And that was 177 countries around the whole world. Obviously, that did not make gamers particularly happy, as people saw it as a total dick move, which it of course was. Following Sony's statement, Helldivers 2 developers released this very message in the game. Uh, major order, restore the honor of Helldivers to now that democracy is saved from the tyranny of Sony. For liberty, for Super Earth, the order overview is regain positive review status on Steam, change negative review to positive review. That's actually quite clever. I'm just not sure how it's going to work because, for example, I haven't left any negative review on Steam. Wonder if I also get those medals. Oh, we'll see about that. On top of that, the developers also took to Twitter to ask gamers to remove negative Steam reviews or change them into positives, as the battle, as they say, was won. As far as I've noticed, there is no opposition to that, as there's this general understanding that developers aren't really to blame for this whole debacle, and uh, I've noticed the community is quite understanding, despite everything that's happened. Hell, they even got flowers from a community member as a support, so that says a lot. There's however one thing that should be clarified, as I have seen many people not really understanding why the backlash was so severe, or some of them are straight up mocking PC gamers for overreaction. Some moronic trolls even use that overused, cringy and cliched crying baby comparison. Well, let me explain why the reaction to this particular request was so severe, despite the fact that, yes, mandatory signing to additional services has been prominent in games market for years now. True, we have GOG, Epic, uh, Battle.net, uh, Rockstar has its own social club, Ubisoft has a launcher, and there are others as well. It is nothing new, but there are differences between those and the Helldivers 2 situation. First off, the timing. Had we known this from the very beginning, had we been informed about this mandatory requirement before making a purchase, the negative reception probably wouldn't have been so severe. There's a chance it wouldn't even have existed. Second reason. Let me give you an example from my own personal experience. I play The Division 2 a lot. I like the shooting looting mechanics and the open world to explore. I was quite happy few months ago when I claimed a reward, some unique cosmetics and rare gun, because I had played Rainbow Six Siege a lot couple years prior to me starting the division. I obtained those rewards because both games are part of the same Ubisoft Connect group. 
It was a very nice touch. Such goodwill gestures, I believe, offset the inconvenience of having six different digital distribution platforms on my desktop. Well, to some degree. But by comparison, PS Network Access, for me, a PC player, is of absolutely no use because I don't own PlayStation. This is what made people angry the most. Sheer futility of the forced sign up. There was absolutely nothing to gain from it except for additional spam in the mailbox. Only corporation gains from such deal. I am not planning to buy PlayStation anytime in the future. I am perfectly okay with playing games on my PC and PC only. We are now in the middle of this action of retracting the Steam reviews, which I wholeheartedly support and strongly advise everyone to support as well, because Helldivers 2 is still an amazing game and developers didn't really deserve all the vitriol they got. If not fixed, that may also lead to a weird situation, which I don't think I've ever seen on Steam. One of the most popular games on the platform, with one of the highest amounts of concurrent players, will be welcoming everyone with overwhelmingly negative ratings. I'm not really sure if all gamers are going to backpedal on their reviews. You know how the human psyche works. Hating and trolling seems easier than being nice to someone, but so far, as you can see, the flipping process goes pretty smoothly. So we will see how this is going to be resolved. As of today, situation seems to be under control. Corporate overlords have capitulated, and hopefully such a situation will not happen in the future, provided we stay vigilant, of course. Right now, I'm going back to my ship, SES founding father of family values, to get deployed into another campaign for the glory of the Super Earth. See you on the battlefield, fellow Helldivers. For democracy, for liberty, for the Super Earth. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, drop a like and press the notification bell so you won't miss anything I upload. And if you didn't enjoy this, well, subscribe anyway. At least you will know when there is a new video to actively hate.